people. Let's go to the Aerospace Command Center. Uh, Chinese leaders, including uh, Premier Li Keqiang, and others have joined uh, to come to the Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center. Of course, they are here to have a look at the picture to be unfolded soon. The picture is taken by China's lunar probe Chang'e 3 and the first rover, the Jade Rabbit. Well, this is, of course, the first time Chinese lunar probe has ever landed on the moon. And uh, this morning, the lander has unlocked its rover, the Jade Rabbit, onto the surface of the moon. This is a live feed from the Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center. So is this the photo we are looking for? This is the, the Jade Rabbit uh, that we're uh, looking at. So it must be uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping was also on hand to view the picture. Well, the picture is downloading from the moon. But that's the first photo. We just saw the first photo taken uh, by the lander of the rover. This photo is taken by the topo topography and the terrain camera of the lander. And it's a colored photo. Yes. So that's why we can see the Chinese flag uh, in red and yellow. Well, take another 20 seconds for the another photo uh, to be downloaded from the moon. Well, that photo should be the photo taken of the rover of the lander. Yes. So it will be the photo of the pair. The bigger guy is the lander, Chang'e, and the smaller one is the rover, the Jade Rabbit. Well, data has already been downloaded. Because it's a high resolution colored photo, the data is, is quite big, so it takes some time to Send it back from, yeah, to download from, from the moon. Uh, on the right hand side is the photo taken of the rover with the Chinese flag imprinted on, on the side surface. On the left hand side is still an, an animation uh, of the lander, is not the real photo. Well, the colored photos, of course, take a lot more data and uh, bandwidth. So that's why we have to be patient and wait a little bit longer for it to be sent down. Because of the Chang'e is more powerful. It has a bigger antenna and antenna. bigger yeah, data and transmission. So data transmission is also faster. So it, you were, we're seeing the first the, the Jade Rabbit pictures. Mm. And then the Jade Rabbit is, uh, is transmitting on its own mm. uh, to the uh, surface of the uh, Earth. From the picture, we can see that the color is very normal. So it means mm. that the, the, camera uh, optical, well. the optical system, the the optical design system is, is perfect. Is perfect. It, it, it doesn't have any distortion of color. Yes. So all eyes are on the screen inside the Beijing Aerospace Command Center, waiting for the other photo of the pair, that's of the rover.
Well, we've uh, heard applause and we've seen the photo. This is the photo we've been waiting for. The first photo of a Chinese vehicle on the moon. This is Jade Rabbit. And um, the background is, of course, the lunar surface with some rocks in the far distance. Yes, because it is a, a, a top-to-down angle, we yeah. are looking from a, a higher position. Now, we cannot see the horizon, we cannot see the only horizon. the lunar surface. Exactly. But still, it's uh, quite a flat place, not a lot of rocks and boulders. Yes. So the landing choose, uh, procedure chose a very ideal place. Mm. Now, the chief commander is about to announce, make an announcement. Ma Xingrei, the commander of China's lunar program, is about to make a statement. Dear President Xi Jinping, Premier Li Keqiang, and le dear leaders, according to a report from the command center, the Chang'an 3, all data, reception, and transmission are normal. The data are complete and the pictures are clear. The rover and the lander are working properly. They have reached the goals set forward. Now I announce the successful completion of the Chang'e 3 mission. Now let's welcome Chinese Vice Premier Ma Kai to announce a congratulatory message from the Central Committee of the Chinese Military. The Central Military Commission sends a congratulatory letter on the successful completion of the Chang'e 3 mission. The Chinese Science Bureau, the Chinese Aerospace Technology Company have participated in the Chang'e 3 Commission and all the staff that have participated in the mission. At this moment of the successful completion of the mission, the Central Military Commission would like to Send congratulations to all the staff that participated in the mission. The successful completion of the mission has successfully achieved China's first soft landing on the moon and also the successful completion of China's second phase Moon lunar mission. And this can be attributed to the leadership shown by Chinese President Xi Jinping. And this is a big milestone in the Chinese people's progress in space technology. And another contribution to China's contribution to space technology. 
The Chang'e 3 mission is so far China's most complicated space mission. We've worked along the principle of self-independence and also build confidence in the mission and all the contribution and achievements you, you have made. Have also given confidence to the whole nation, the party, and all the peoples in China, and also have shown a bright path for the development of Chinese socialism. And China has shown that China is dedicated to the peaceful use of space. And at this juncture of the successful completion of the mission, now China's space mission is entering a new phase and there are more tougher, there are tougher and more difficult tasks ahead. Now all the staff should revolve around the leadership of Chinese President Xi Jinping and work with the principles as stated in the third completion of the third plenum and continue to strive forward and a new chapter of the Chinese space mission will be achieved and achieve make greater contribution for the rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Announcing a congratulatory letter from the CPC leadership and the State Council. Well, this time around, Chinese President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang were also on hand to view the pictures taken from the moon, taken by Chinese lunar probes, including Chang'e 3 lander and Jade Rabbit rover. And the leaders shook hands and sent congratulations to the scientists and engineers who have made this possible. This is the Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center. As Vice Premier Ma said, this is the most complicated endeavor for the space scientists in China. It took many years to get this far, and they deserve the credit. Well, after this, uh, the lander and the rover will be on its own to conduct scientific research on the lunar surface. Uh, the lifespan of the rover is roughly three months, and that of the lander is one year. But as Yu Guang mentioned, maybe it will run longer than that, hopefully. Yes. They will gather more scientific data on the lunar surface. And these data will be uh, beamed back to the Earth in the coming month and uh, we will provide you update on their latest discovery made by Chinese lunar probes. The lunar probe was placed into transfer orbit on Monday, several weeks ago, from Xichang. On December the 14th, land in Sina Iridium on the moon's northern hemisphere. And today, it unlocked its rover onto the lunar surface. And now they are fully op operational. We can 
Get this by reading the pictures taken by the two probes of one another.